using tape or floss. Floss comes in a tape or on a stick. Wrap the floss around fingers till it is torn. Then place the floss down the side of the tooth under the gum line. Cut the floss round the tooth in a C shape and shift the floss gently up and down. Repeat for the other side of the tooth. Let's watch that again a little more slowly. Notice how the floss gets all the way underneath the gum on either side of the tooth. Cupping the floss in a C-like shape around the tooth helps drag the floss up and down the side of the teeth, eliminating plaque and bacteria that's trapping around the tooth and under the gum. Back teeth should be flossed in the exact same way. People often find it tricky to get access to the back of the teeth and can use alternative flossing methods. It is important to recognise any bleeding or changes in the mouth. An appointment should be made with a dentist or dental hygiene therapist if there are ongoing concerns. Routine checkups are advised twice a year. Cleaning in between the teeth is recommended once a day. Brushing alone only cleans around 60% of the mouth. Flossing can be done before or after brushing. Floss on a stick is like using floss, but the floss is already taunt for you. Angle the taunt floss against the teeth, easing in and easing out the floss in between the teeth. Try not to push down and push out as this may cause harm to the gums. The floss on a stick should then be cupped in a C-like shape and dragged up and down the teeth and under the gum line. Superfloss is not suitable for every mouth. It is most effective in mouths where teeth are joined due to having a bridge, an implant or a brace. The floss has one firm end and one soft end. Using the firmer end, the floss should be thread in between the gap in the mouth. Once fed through, grasp both ends of the superfloss pulling the floss towards the teeth, cupping the tooth or gap in a C-like shape and dragging the floss up and down, cleaning bacteria and plaque away from in between the gap. Once you have completed flossing in between the gap, grab one end of the floss and drag through all the way to the other side, pulling the floss free.